When I first heard the name Wendelin Brooks, it was mentioned in my literature classes, but I didn't know who she was. As I started to read about her, I became fascinated by her story, her poetry, and her influence. What I didn't know was that Brooks was the first black poet to win a Pulitzer Prize and the first black woman to work in the Library of Congress. She was definitely a poet I wanted to get to know better. And her story would be closer to me than I thought, for her life as a writer began here, in Chicago's South Side. She moved from Topeka, Kansas to Brownsville, Chicago when she was very young. And when she was 13, she published her first poem. And when she was 17, she was published regularly in Chicago Defender. Like her, I've been writing since I was very young, using my words as a way to tell stories. My favorite poem that she wrote is Truth, because it expresses sadness and hope clearly. It's beautiful. And if sun comes, how shall we greet him? Shall we not dread him? Shall we not fear him after so lengthy a session with shade? Not only did my fascination with Brooks connect with her amazing work and award-winning poetry, but where her story takes place. She attended community college at Kennedy King College, where I'm working at my internship. Not far from Kennedy King is a Southside Community Arts Center, where Brooks developed her writing career. Being one of the most important members of the African American artist community, Brooks sat in this piano and wrote. Brooks's work has been very influential. Her poems address racial issues and political inequalities. The poem collection that won her the Pulitzer Prize was Annie Allen, which tells the story of a young black girl becoming an adult. This year we celebrate the 100th anniversary of her birth, just as the American Writers Museum opens in Chicago. Brooks is featured in both local and national gallery of writers. Learning about Brooks has been an amazing journey. She's only one of the many writers I will get to know throughout my life.